The Murdoch trial continued today with more testimony on the former South Carolina lawyer's alleged financial crimes. Murdoch is accused of killing his wife and son at the family's hunting estate in June 2021. Today, jurors heard from one of Murdoch's closest friends who testified that he took money from him. Taggart Houck has been following this from the beginning, and he joins us in studio to break it all down. Tag. Well, good evening to you both today. Uh, really testimony focused once again on Murdoch's financials and more specifically how it negatively impacted uh, one of those closest to him as prosecutors really attempt to convey to jurors that nobody really knew the real Alec Murdoch. Alec Murdoch showed some emotion Thursday while attorney Chris Wilson was on the stand as prosecutors attempt to link alleged financial crimes to the murders. Did y'all become close friends over the years? Yes, sir. Best friends? Yes, sir. I considered him to be one of my best, if not my best friend. Wilson said he and Murdoch sometimes worked cases together, and in March 2021, Murdoch asked Wilson to transfer $792,000 in fees from one case directly to him rather than the firm. Unusual, but... I mean, I'd known him for 30 plus years and didn't have any reason not to trust him. He testified Murdoch's firm needed the fees months later, and Murdoch only had $600,000. So Wilson loaned $192,000 to make up the difference. But in September, he said he learned from the firm that Murdoch took the money. How are you feeling? Shocked, betrayed, mad. Next morning, Wilson said he met with Murdoch, who revealed a years-long opioid addiction. He said, I've been stealing from the firm and from clients. What did he say about that 192 with you? What was the phrase he used? I mean, I'll cut, I have to cuss to say it. He said, Go ahead and say it. He said, I you up. I'm sorry, I you up. I a lot of people up. The defense argues Murdoch couldn't kill his wife and son and made clear family came first. Would he always take a phone call if Maggie called him? Always. Would he always take a phone call if Paul called him? Always. Would he always take a phone call if Buster called him? Always. We also heard testimony from Mark Tinsley, the lawyer for the family of Mallory Beach. Beach was killed in that 2019 boat crash involving per Mur Paul Murdoch. Rather, Tinsley revealed today that in the lawsuit, he was seeking $10 million from Murdoch for the Beach family. Nigel.